It's seven o'clock, and do you know where your French brigades are? Well, I do. They're all here floundering as they try to capture Vionville and not having much success. And they only got the seven o'clock turn and an eight o'clock turn to do it. Well, welcome. Here we are with more playthrough of At Any Cost. Let's get straight into this and see who's going to prevail. So, the next chit draw is... Battlefield conditions for the French. No one has used any of theirs yet. Okay, well, that means we're going to the next one. And we pull up the roof. Okay, well, well, here's where the two, the playing this solo uh, kind of doesn't quite work because they have this command initiative for the Prussians. And what this basically does is, um, I know I want Labouf to be in an aggressive posture for assaulting Vionville. He, Prussians would play this to switch it to defensive so that he couldn't assault. But I know that. But I know that he knows that. See, you see how it goes there? I can't really decide how, I mean, I can say, oh, I'll, I'll just put it in defensive. He'll use this and then put it, yeah. So what I've decided to do is randomize. This is the only way I can really figure out what to do to see if he burns this up. So on a one through five, the Labouf will choose a, an aggressive posture. And if not higher than the defensive, and then we'll go from there. So he does choose aggressive. The Prussians will burn this. And so we will be in a defensive posture either way. <laughs> First, we have the fire phase. Um, now... I've got to go through all these units. Uh, cavalry do not issue fire, by the way. Uh, I got the first brigade here. He's in a really weak spot. Shooting here is no good because there's a minus three column shift for firing into a town. I could shoot at this. Not a whole lot of point to it. I mean, it may clear up a little, a little woods here if we do okay. But I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, firing on the two column. Uh, not much to say here. We'll just roll it anything close. Uh, six and a two, that's not going to be anything. Yep. Well, now we're going to fire the second brigade and the Mitrius machine gun that's behind him into the town. We're going to go ahead and do that. And that's going to put him on the five column, which is a good place to be. Uh, French will burn battlefield conditions for another two column shift, but you know what? Uh, Prussians come in and they say, nope, I'm going to cancel that. Uh, and he would definitely do that because everything is riding on Beyondville. And so he's going to use every advantage he can and disadvantage <laughs> to, to screw us. So there we go. French could really use a break here. So a lot, a lot riding on this roll here. So they fire. Double fours. Isn't that just the way? Okay, so... It's a morale test that is going to be... Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold the phone. And the artillery unit in the town is only a four, and he's shaken. So he's minus one. So he's a three. This is going to go from shaken to bacon. No, to disrupt it. Uh, the unit underneath is unaffected because he's, you know, tough. He's got a cohesion of eight. So nothing there. But we, we did do something which is not usually what happens. Oops, out of focus there, sorry. Uh, unfortunately, one of these units, either Mitrius or the Brigade, will get low ammo, we'll just do the Brigade. I do have a three-point, um, what you call it, a cannon artillery there, which is gonna be terrible firing into this town. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway, we're just out of options at this point. And unless we roll something really high on both dice. Uh, whoa, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Nine and an eight. Well, it just goes to show you. <laughs> okay. This inflicts two morale hits on the cannon unit. And moreover, um, because he, um, can't go any further down the moral, morale path, and he's already battle-worn. He has to survive two break tests. 
So, first one. Eight, he does not survive. Artillery is broken. That was doing all kinds of best and nasty things to us. And the unit underneath becomes shaken. So, very effective cannon fire from this little three strength point artillery. Never count them out, even when you're on the all the way in the back here, on the very last column. You can, you can still roll and get lucky. Unfortunately, that's all the fire we can do, and now we are into the movement phase, and unfortunately, because we are in defensive mode, we cannot engage, which means we cannot get anybody near Vionville this turn, which really sinks. <laughs> okay, let's get this out of the way. So I guess we're just going to reposition everyone here as best we can. And for repositioning, I think we're going to bring this artillery right under here so that he can get uh, resupplied by ammo. Like so. They can all fit in there. Trust me. <laughs> and we'll bring these artillery into the woods here. I don't know if they're going to be able to make any difference by the time 8 o'clock rolls around. I think I've I maneuvered these guys poor or poorly. I, I, you know, it's almost like... I'm watching Gettysburg and this picket's charge right up here and they're just, <laughs> they're just not getting where they need to go. Um, we'll go ahead and bring these guys into the woods. Like so. So they're all linked up. So they're all in command. They're all going to be in command. And so with that movement, then we move to us. So there is no assault because we're in defensive mode. And finally we have rally step, which is actually a benefit us. So I got two command points to help alleviate anybody who's in a bad way. And the only guys I can really think of to do that, first one will be, we'll reload our Mitrius machine gun here, and we will solve the ammo problem of the second brigade here. That is the best thing we'll be able to do. Now we are back to our cup. Okay. Tenth Corps. Immediately, the guys defending Vionville are going to answer. So the 10th Corps decides to stay in defensive mode. There's no reason to go into aggressive and do any kind of assaulting. It's all up to the French to do that, and they've been just smashing themselves onto us and not getting very far, although Vionville's a little threatened. I think we're going to be moving some guys in. Um, there's one guy out of uh, command way over here. They haven't even threatened um, Mars Latour at all. Yeah, French not doing so hot. <laughs> okay, out of command for that. All right, what do we got here? First thing first, fire phase. And um, fire combat step is what it's officially called. And there is absolutely no reason to not just pour the artillery over here. It's ineffective range. He, well, we're not getting plunging fire, but we're getting everything else. That is blocked, by the way. I can't shoot that, just in case you're wondering. And so, yeah, we're going to unleash. Uh, there, is, This guy is shaken, so he is, does suffer a... He's down to five, not uh, six strength points. And... I'm not going to go to the uh, combat table. I'm just going to roll the dice, and if it's something worth... Waking up for uh, that, we'll go over there and look. <laughs> they fire. Oh, that's a that's a killer, and that is going to disrupt both of these units here and the artillery unit down here. And the Mitrius suffers the same fate, I believe. They're tied together. Mm, man, big hit. I want to think of well, one thing I could have done uh, back here in the movement phase is disengaged him. I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. Just in case he wants to warm up for another charge. Okay, we rewind that a little bit. No big deal. Um, what do we else we got? I have some core. I was thinking of bringing them over here, but the, frankly, the Persians are doing just fine defending beyond them. That I can go ahead and afford to take a shot over here. Uh, or as to say, back out of this. That's too big, too wide. Something over here. Probably this guy, because he's right there. And we will. It is a shot on the five column, so it's nothing to sneeze at. But fire! Five and a two. Five is a... Oh, that's going to be nothing. 
Yeah, that's just gonna be morale test of three, which won't uh, won't affect him at all. So boom, nothing. So movement phase, and I see an opportunity here. This cavalry sees this exposed artillery unit, so we might as well take advantage of that. Uh, let's see if we can do a charge. I made it. So two, three, four. Now we hit. Can't fire on the. And then we can't arrange this. We can't go ahead and we can fire on the. Four, three. Now we only do that. No, it's empty. So slap. And we start. Doesn't stop. Okay. So we're going to do assault here. Oh my bad, my bad. We are in defensive mode. He couldn't do that anyway, so he's back here. I forgot where he is, I'll have to... I think he was here. No, he was here by the woods. Whoops, my bad, sorry. Shouldn't have done that. There was no charge, no charge was available to them. Uh, we are in defensive mode, so nothing to be done there. Uh, other movement. Uh, the only unit I could theoretically move is this guy, but I don't want to move him anywhere here. Well. Uh, that just puts them in the open where, you know, I don't want them. I've started jamming in here, but I can't because that would engage me. I can't engage it, so I can't reinforce uh, Beyond Build this turn. Uh, now I'm starting to rethink that whole putting them in aggressive, putting them in defensive mode. That may have been a mistake. Uh, I wonder if it'll cost them. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's an opening for the French. Uh-oh, did I blow it here? Well, hang on here. Let's uh, think about this. Uh, first, I'm going to rally, and I can rally here for one. I have four command points to do this. This is a lot, actually. And here's two, three. Uh, one would flip it, and then one would eliminate it. So I still have one left, and guess what I can do? Yeah, I remember way back they defeated one of my units here. Uh, the Prussian defeated was here, the 40th Brigade. And they're eligible for a rebuilding. And they basically have to roll their TCR or less on their battle-worn side and they're back in the game so here comes here comes the roll seven nope nope too high oh well finally we have this out of command unit we have not dealt with and he can maneuver which he is not going to do he's gonna stick right there and defend uh, Mars Latour like he has been for the past while but that is the end of the 10th Corps' activation. Fairly productive, really giving the French trouble. And uh, I think that guy was, I'm gonna have to, ah, man, knocking chips over. But I think we're gonna go ahead and stop there. We still have four activations left in the cup. And like I said, you'll need to tune in because we may have left an opening for the French to take Vionville by going into being too defensive instead of aggressive. Mmm, so, leave your comments, uh, ideas for strategies, let me know if I had made any mistakes, and join us next time for our next turn, and thanks for watching.